<laughs> well, there were heartwarming scenes played out across Queensland airports and border checkpoints yesterday as families and friends came together after months of separation. It was really beautiful. Our cameras were there to capture the happy moments, including this one, with our very own Melbourne reporter, Christina Hearn. Stop it, we'll go all over again. We're going to speak to Chris in a moment, but first, let's go to the Tuffley family in Queensland who had a very special reunion of their own. Dave, it's good to see you. I'll go to you first. You've been reunited with your son, John, after eight long months apart. So why is it so important to be together this Christmas for you guys? Oh, look, this Christmas more than any other, really, we just didn't know whether or not John was going to be able to get home <coughs> in time. Uh, the borders opened just in time, but uh, right up until the last minute, we thought he's going to be stuck down there in Canberra in lockdown, you know, having, having a cold Christmas pud uh, whilst we're all up here, <laughs> you know, enjoying ourselves. But uh, fortunately, at the last minute, everything opened up and uh, we were thrilled to be able to get him on a flight and come up in the Monday morning. I'm so happy to see you all together. It's, it's just such a beautiful time for people to be reconnecting and together again. Angela, I know it's been a particularly tough time for you. You've been undergoing chemotherapy in recent months uh, throughout the last year. What yep. does it mean to you to have your yep. son back in your arms? I think the hardest thing about going through this was to have to tell John remotely about what was going on and I couldn't get a hug from him or give him a hug to let him know that um, I'm going to be fine. Yeah. I'm going to be fine. I've just got to get through this, that's all. So it's just such a relief. That, that hug was the one I've been missing for about two months. Oh. Well, <laughs> John, goodness. tell us how good that hug was. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, honestly, the best reception you could ask for getting off of a plane. <laughs> it's, um, <laughs> I couldn't ask for any more and I'm lucky to have these, these two as my parents. Excuse me, I'm going to hug your, your brother again. Oh, oh you guys, <laughs> but John, you know, when, oh. <laughs> Oh, I, John, you know, when, when mum tells you that, you know, she is going through something, you know, at like a cancer diagnosis and, and going through treatment and know that you can't be there, how is that on you, knowing that there was the potential that the borders may not have reopened for Christmas? Yeah, that's, um, that was definitely a sort of troubling moment. It's, you know, getting being stuck on the sidelines as it feels like. Uh, shut out, locked away. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we tried to make the uh, make the video calls work, but yeah, it's not, you can only do so much. Um, yeah, it's it's just not the same, and so many yes. of us have become accustomed to being apart, and now you're physically together in each other's arms again. I know you've got two weeks together. How are you going to spend it? What are you going to do? Yes, <laughs> party central, I think. <laughs> yeah, tearing tear up every night. <laughs> You're going to raise there's, the roof in Redland to, Bay. It's going to be so good. <laughs> All right, well, hang on. Let's go, let's go sure to Melbourne are. reporter Christina Hearn now. Chris, I mean, thank you so much for yesterday. We, to share that moment as we watched you reunite with not only your sister, your niece and nephews, but your parents too, after such a long, long time in Melbourne during the lockdowns. Take us through what was going through your mind at that stage. David, it's so hard to put into words. I mean, it was such a long time and, you know, unlike that beautiful family we just heard from, I'm so lucky I didn't have anything like that with my family going on, but I just miss them so much. And, um, you know, I was just so happy to see my sister and my niece and nephews. I didn't even look around for anyone else. And then to see my parents there, I, you know, I completely forgot I was on television. I was just so overwhelmed because it was not only, of course, all of this year, but it was last year as well. I'd only seen them once or twice. So all those emotions came out. And I have to say, everyone did such a good job in keeping a secret. Nothing gets by me ever. No. Um, but that did. I just didn't know my parents were going to be there. So um, I'd even texted my mum on the tarmac saying make sure you watch the today show because she's normally um you know out walking the dog and she texted me back and goes oh okay dear what will i see so, um, <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they all did an amazing job oh, 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 you good. sneaky sneaky you I, hey? I love it i love it i can't believe the boss didn't give you a day off today though just quietly what did you do though yesterday you had a few hours with them how did you spend it 
I have to say straight away, we actually just had a coffee at the airport with my cameraman, Glenn, who organised the whole thing. They hadn't met him and uh, so we did that and then um, we went just back to my sister's place, had lunch all together. It was just so simple but just, you know, something we had missed so much, just that family time all together and then uh, my uh, niece and nephews beat me in soccer and basketball and told me I had to improve by Christmas. So the day just flew by um, before I got back on the plane last night. I'm tired, but I don't care. It was just mm. worth every single minute. Oh, it was indeed. It was, it was worth it just to, to see your face and it was, it was so special for all of us and a lot of Australia <laughs> too who was watching it as well. Chris, thank you so much. We'll speak to you again very shortly. But to the Tufflies, you guys, look at you still hugging down there. That's we are so just sweet. so pleased you are all <laughs> together. You have a wonderful t two weeks together and party on you guys. Oh, yeah. Thanks very much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. yeah, we can see it. Oh, yeah. Don't anyone make any noise complaints in Redland Bay. They're allowed to party as hard as they like. <laughs> Thank you, guys, and have a very Merry Christmas together. You betcha. <laughs> Woo. That was good. <laughs> it's all too much, isn't it? It is. It's but so we, we can't get enough.